At Colliers, we think in asset classes. The office asset class in 2019 has seen a groundswell of activity, both on market and off market. A significant standout has been the very low vacancy recorded in new generation office buildings, now sub 4%. Of note is the volume of occupier demand for the next generation of office assets. Looking forward, we expect a dynamic market in 2020 as these individual commitments materialise ahead of new supply events in 2023 and we'll see the market continue to reward proactive landlords. 2019 was another significant year in terms of transaction volume. While the market gained positive momentum in 2018, the transactions which occurred in 2019 demonstrated the value uplift and yield compression we're expecting. The Collier's International Valuation Team were the trusted advisors on a number of these transactions. And a notable trend that we noticed was the premium that buyers are willing to pay for modern or refurbished assets with low capex risk and strong tenant retention prospects. Now that we are seeing incentives scaling back and face rental growth, in 2020 we expect quality investments to be hotly contested and the trend of off-market activity to continue. As we venture into 2020, we expect to see continual growth as the state's economic activity is anticipated to substantially increase over the coming years as the benefits from significant private and public sector spending across a broad range of established and emerging industries are now gaining traction. We have seen significant movement across 2019, having ongoing growth in the office asset class and refurbished buildings holding strong and leading the way. The opening of U City at 43 Franklin Street in July was a significant achievement, having worked with a client on the asset over the past two years. The mixed use building is the first of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere and was a driver in broadening our scope within the market. Following this, One King William Street has seen substantial growth as we achieved the results of leasing the whole building, putting us in good stead to continue results into the new year. 2019 has seen business confidence and activity in the commercial property market reach new highs, driven by investment in defence, medical, healthcare, research and education, coupled with Adelaide's growing reputation as an innovation economy. The most significant trend in 2019 was the investment from both interstate and overseas investors, seeing new entrants in the market such as BlackRock, Fortius, and ARA Suntech REIT. Activity was also driven by repeat acquisitions by the likes of Charter Hall, Realis, Centuria and Soil Build. Adelaide is increasingly on both the interstate and offshore investment radar and we expect this to continue well into 2020.